Becky. If you are there, join me for another Core Connection with Corey G. So it's going to be short and sweet and powerful. So a lot of people at this time of year are doing a lot of soul searching, which is great. It's a great time of year to do reflection and think about what all occurred throughout the year, how much you've grown, and then also, of course, what you want to create for the coming year. But what I find happening a lot is when we're in this place of uncertainty is that we tend to go right to our head and do complete analysis on ourselves. So let me just post this real quick to my page and then I'll come back. So I want to share some tools for you to help you so that you can actually make some traction with clarifying what it is you want to create for the coming year, come to a sense of closure and completion with the year that we are now leaving, and start to really go to a different place when it comes to doing this inner work. Cool? All right. All right, all right. Sweet. Okay, so yay, it's all shared. Okay, so one of the killers of creativity is analysis paralysis. And it's usually the first place we go. And I see lots of coaches sharing, you know, the best nine questions to ask yourself to discover what your purpose is or the three questions you have to answer to close the year. And all of that is great, but I find that it ends up actually working against us because we tend to be a very heady society in the U.S. and in Western culture. And when we engage in the head, when we're trying to understand parts of our heart and our soul and really our purpose, we miss out on a huge part of what is important to us if we're only engaging. So what I want to share with you are some tools to help you if you notice, you know, this is a time of year that you tend to get reflective and you have some important decisions to make about maybe next steps for you or maybe transitioning jobs or relationships or even locations. And you really are seeking a sense of peace about what's next and a sense of clarity and certainty about what's next. So instead of bam bamboozling yourself with questions and getting into that space of complete head, which tends again to just keep us more stuck and more confused and more disconnected from what we really want, what I encourage you to do is first, when you notice that happening, decide to move. So decide to go on a walk, decide to dance, decide to get out of your head and get into your body first thing. And another way you can do that is, of course, doing some really mindful breathing, which means counting your inhalations to a certain point, holding it for a certain point, and then exhaling for a certain number of breaths so that you're coming back into your body because... The best decisions for us are a combination of our heart and our head, but often we make decisions almost solely from the head or almost solely from the heart, but really we want them to be connected and to be checking in with each other. And so one way to do that is to move your body to get into your body. And then once you're in your body, start to listen, start to really pay attention of what's getting stirred up. One of my other favorite tools, which I will share a link in the comments, is a visualization, a guided visualization or a meditation. Because, again, with the head, there's nothing wrong with the head, but it often cuts off our creativity because we go right to rational, logical, it has to make sense. And often the things that we truly desire don't make sense. And so when you can engage the imagination and start to explore what you truly desire, even if it doesn't make sense, then your head can start to see, okay, well, how can I make that happen? But if you start with the head, the head will say, no way, that's not possible because you haven't even allowed the heart a chance to basically state its claim. And so all of these tools in combination, of course, are perfect. So doing, this is actually my morning routine is to move my body, to get into my body and then into engage in visualization and meditation. And then I actually continue and do some writing. So it's body, it's heart and imagination, so heart and soul, and then it's mind. So then the mind can say, okay, from all these crazy things that you thought about, how can I make these happen? What is the most likely today? Who do I need to contact? What is the action I need to take? 
And that way you're actually progressing in a way that's helping your uncertainty and gaining your ability to feel clear about what's next and getting out of that rut of just analyzing, 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 not taking action, not getting any clearer, feeling more stuck and more frustrated and causing a lot more stress and anxiety for yourself. So I encourage you to grab a copy of, it's called True Riches, the visualization, so that you can really connect with what is true about you, no matter what decision you make, no matter what job you take, relationship you're in, state or country you decide to move to, or however this year went for you, or whatever you wanna create for the next coming year, is that you know who you are at your core, and that you honor that and feel secure in that. And that's the place where you can create something phenomenal and unbelievable and absolutely magnificent with the connection of the heart, mind, and soul. And I am offering a special for December. So closing out with consciousness and mindfulness 2019 and really leaping into 2020 with full awareness, high imagination, and clear action steps to ensure that you are off and running before the year even has taken place. So reach out to me if you're interested in having a guide to do this work to help you really clarify what it is you truly desire, not what you think you should want, and to get over maybe that hurdle of the saboteur who often says it doesn't make sense and you need to do more research and you probably should just wait and figure it out later because right now it's not a good time. All those things that tell you to not take action, that's why it's important to have a guide with you to ensure Yes, it's important to do the inner work, but it's equally important to be taking actions alongside it. So again, connecting what the heart is telling you in the head, making it happen. Okay, so I look forward to hearing from you. And if you have any questions, comments, of course, would love to hear from you as well. And grab that visualization, True Riches, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.